hours until the severe weather arrives. Electric companies are preparing for the worst, but of course, hoping for the best. Our team coverage continues with Michaela Evans in the co control room, showing us how providers are preparing to keep your lights on. Michaela, good morning. Lauren Darion, good morning. Ori Electric is bracing for plenty of outages today, but the company tells me it's all hands on deck and linemen are ready to get to work. We are all here. Our entire staff is here um, ready to respond. Um, it's a team effort, so we have our dispatchers working 24 7 as they do every day, every storm. Um, but they're going to be monitoring those calls as they come in and they'll be sending the crews out to those outages. Ori Electric spokesperson Jennifer Cummings says their preparation started Monday. Crews spent the afternoon gassing up trucks, checking equipment and stocking up on materials, including power poles and transformers. She says dozens of linemen are on the clock ready to get the lights back on as long as it's safe to do so. You also want to remember never go near a down pole or line. And if you do see one, report it to your electric company immediately. Cummings says it can take at least four hours to fix. You also need to keep your cell phones charged in case you do lose power today. That way you can still receive updates through the WNBF news and weather apps. We'll send you the first alert to any tornado watches and warnings, which happens when a tornado is detected on the ground. For now, I have the control room, Michaela Evans, WNBF News.